Hey puzzle friends, how's it going? Welcome back, or if you're new, I'm GB and welcome to my channel. This is a place for anyone who loves puzzles, whether you're new to puzzling or you consider yourself an expert. Today, I'm excited to be sharing with you the new collection of puzzles from Tanya Wicks. This collection is called Joy in Pieces and has five 1000 piece puzzles and they are indeed very joyful, colorful, and just overall really gorgeous. So I'm very excited to get stuck into these. Uh, so Tanya Wicks is a photographer based in Queensland, Australia and just, yeah, creates the most stunning, gorgeous photography. And she actually released a collection of five puzzles earlier this year too. So I will link to the video that I did on those up here. So compared to the previous collection, these definitely look more colorful. Um, I really enjoyed the previous collection, even though it wasn't as colorful as this. I just thought it was really beautiful and I loved the whole experience of it and the quality so if that's anything to go by I think this is going to also be a really fantastic collection. So I think in a sec I will scoot over and we will have a close look at all these puzzles. So the first puzzle here is called Spring Serenity and I'm actually going to be doing this one over on Instagram very soon so keep an eye out for that. And also just something to note, the images that you see on the front of these boxes and also sort of wrapping around the sides is not the whole image, uh, it's just sort of part of it. You do get posters inside of the whole image and I'll pop the image up here so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, this first one, Spring Serenity, just a very gorgeous sort of uh, like image of lots of beautiful flowers, lots of colorful poppies and then cute little sort of white flowers and even some like lavender -y kind of ones over here. I think it's going to be pretty challenging because I tend to find uh, like flowers and petals quite tricky to put together, but I think it's going to look stunning when it's done. But yeah, I just love the colors. I think it's just very pretty, very spring. Uh, yeah, just a very cheery. I mean, I think this whole collection is very kind of cheerful and happy and joy in pieces, so very joyful. Uh, but yeah, I think this is a very pretty one and really looking forward to putting this one together very soon. And then this next one is called envelopes and pretty much is what it says. It is all these like envelopes laid out to sort of create this really interesting uh, eye catching, a very kind of bold and graphic design. Like I love all these like strong lines and like bright colors. It's sort of a rainbow, but like not a traditional rainbow. It's got more muted tones or in some areas, like obviously this teal is very bright and this lavender, but a lot of the other colors are a bit more toned down and muted or a bit more subtle. Um, so it's not your classic rainbow, but to me, it's still very colorful and very eye catching. So I think, uh, you know, this is going to be a really fun one to do. Probably is going to be pretty easy, like especially compared to the ones with flowers. I think this will be pretty straightforward to do, especially because there's like very distinct areas of color. So yeah, it should be like good fun. So definitely looking forward to doing that one as well. Next up, we have another very gorgeous floral one. This one's called Autumn Delight. And yeah, it's just a really gorgeous mix of these rich, vibrant autumn colors made, of, made up of like flowers and leaves and other little bits of greenery and foliage. Yeah, it looks really pretty. Again, I think this is going to be a tricky one like Spring Serenity. I think it will be quite tricky to put together also because um, this one has a lot of very similar colors overlapping. Like we've got this gold yellow leaf, but then right next to it, we have these like orangey petals and the color difference, even though we can see it clearly, um, when you're looking at little pieces, it might be quite tough to sort of differentiate. So I think this would definitely be tricky. Obviously there'll be easier parts like the dark leaf here and this green, but yeah, I think it's going to be quite challenging, but also I think it'll look spectacular once it's done. So I think that's going to be a lovely one to do. And then we've got another one here. I mean, I don't have, I really like all of these, but I think, you know, it probably envelopes and this one, I guess I'm drawn to the most, maybe just because of the sort of bold graphic lines. So yeah, like envelopes, uh, this one is called candlesticks. I forgot to mention again, it sort of is what it's called. Um, and yeah, it's got all these candle, beautiful sort of bright pastel colored candlesticks all lined up next to each other. And yeah, again, like the envelopes, it sort of creates these like strong lines and bold graphic elements. So yeah, I quite like that. Probably the graphic designer in me that's drawn to that. Um, yeah, so I think again, this one, I'm sort of predicting this one will be 
more on the easier side to put together, like envelopes. Uh, you know, you've got a lot of very distinct, colorful sections. But yeah, it's just kind of simple, but very eye-catching and pretty. And I think it's going to look really gorgeous once it's done. So yeah, I think this will be a really fun one to do as well. And then the last one from the collection, which I think is one of the most interesting ones actually, is called Seed Pods. And I don't know if you have them in other places around the world, but we have like these sort of big kind of almost like woody seed pods. I can't remember which they like come from certain trees here and they end up having big like seeds in them and stuff. Um, but yeah, what these are seed pods that Tanya herself has actually hand painted like beautiful little designs on them, which I think is really pretty and has this gorgeous like lavender background, which is like one of my favorite colors. Um, so it's just such a really interesting image of like, it's quite different to the other four. Um, and I can't really say whether it's going to be easy or hard. I feel like maybe it's going to be somewhere in the middle. But yeah, I really love it. I, I love the design she's painted on. It's just very pretty. I love the colors like this teal, these lavenders, this kind of cornflower blue. And it's just an interesting sort of subject matter. It's quite different. I've never, I don't think I've ever seen anything like this before. So yeah, I'm quite excited to do this one as well. So yeah, I think that's going to be really interesting and just a lot of fun and gorgeous to do too. So um, for this video, I am just going to be doing one puzzle. I wish I could do them all, but uh, it will be a very long video. Um, but I will be, you know, doing some on Instagram and I'll be just doing some for the fun of it. And so you will get to see them over time. Um, but I think I've decided for this video, instead of picking uh, the hardest puzzle that I usually do, because <laughs> I seem to have a uh, thing for picking difficult puzzles, I'm actually going to pick what I think is the, you know, most fun, easiest puzzle out of the collection. So ugh, I am going to do the envelopes puzzle for this video. I think it just looks really fun and colorful. It's a very me kind of puzzle. And I think it should be pretty quick and easy to do. I mean, I could be wrong, but I'm sort of thinking it's compared to like some of the others in the collection. I think this might be one of the easiest ones. Um, so in a sec, I think we will take a closer look at this one. We're going to unbox it. So you'll see the poster and see the whole image as well again. And yeah, we'll have a look at the pieces. And then of course we will get into some puzzling. Let's take a look at the packaging. So the front of the box is just a really nice, uh, simple, bright design. So we've got a uh, part of the colorful image here. And then we've got this strip down here and we've got the Tanya Weeks photography logo and well, her name. And then we've got the puzzle name, which is envelopes and the collection name, which is joy and pieces in smaller text. Then it says 1000 puzzle and it has the size uh, 50 by 70 centimeters. I'll put inches on the screen. And then this image extends onto the sides. So on this side here, uh, we've got more of the image and I'll just turn this around. We also have a little Australia shape and it says proudly Australian. Then we've got more of the image over here, um, more here and more over here. So kind of just a simple, elegant, yeah, just a really nice design. And then let's turn over and look at the back. So we've got quite a bit of text on the back. Uh, here it says joy and pieces, which is the name of the collection. Um, we've got our little uh, proudly Australian, Australia sort of shape logo here as well. And then in this text here, um, I'll just read the first paragraph. Relax and allow your worries and thoughts of the day to evaporate as your mind explores the sensory world of these beautiful images. Ex experience the beauty of art, one piece at a time, one puzzle at a time. So I won't read all the rest, but basically the next one sort of talks about how the images use Tanya Wick's original photographs. Then here it talks a bit about the quality. Uh, even about the sort of box design. And then here it says, share your puzzling experience at Tanya Weeks Puzzles. So you can find her on Instagram. And now go get puzzling. That sounds good. We'll do that very shortly. And then we've got the Tanya Weeks uh, website. And then just a little caution for like, not for children under three and uh, you know, that the piece choking hazard type warning. Uh, so let's open this up. Okay, so inside the box is just plain white in the lid um, and just has more of the image sort of wrapping around the insides. And then we've got a bag of pieces here. Okay, so that's good. We've got a nice uh, resealable Ziploc bag and it doesn't look like I'll have to cut that either, which is great. It's already sort of open for me. So 
fantastic. We will uh, get to those in a minute. They look pretty good though. And then what do we got here? So we've got a, oh, can I pick it up? There we go. Okay, so just blank on the back. We've got this little thank you card here. So it's got a QR code um, and it's, uh, it's got the Tanuix little logo. Thank you for supporting a, a small Australian business in the unlikely event of a missing piece. Please get in touch. Love this puzzle. Share a Google review. Share your puzzle photos on at Tanya Weeks Puzzles on Instagram. Then it has uh, her website. And then some little logos and text. So it's, it's a premium quality with a little diamond, non-toxic, non-toxic inks, little camera, original photography, recycling logo, recycled paper, and it says worldwide shipping with a little airplane and the globe. So yeah, that's nice. So always good to sort of have a bit of contact info, especially if you do have any issues with missing pieces or things like that, or yeah, you just want to be able to share your experience, which I like to do, so fantastic. And then it looks like we have a reference picture here. So I'm not sure, wait, which way does this go? I guess it doesn't really matter actually. I guess it's a sort of abstract design in a way, so whichever way, um, but yeah, it's a kind of quite a nice size. It's not like overly huge, but for this particular design, since the shapes and colors are quite bold, I think this is a great size. Um, it's a, wait, I think it's a bit bigger than A4, I'm not too sure. But yeah, it seems like a really, yeah, convenient size. Not too tiny, not huge, uh, yeah, great. And so yeah, just blank on the other side. So that would definitely come in handy, because that way, uh, since we have this, we can use the lid and the bottom of the box to put our pieces in, so that's, yeah, super handy. And then yeah, the bottom of the box is just plain and I believe the sides are just, yeah, the sort of plain kind of goldy color that was on the back of the box. So yeah, so that is the unboxing. So I'm gonna open up the pieces and we'll take a closer look at those. So apologies if you can hear some weird background noise, that's just my neighbors getting super excited over the Soccer World Cup. Um, so I have poured in all the pieces and they're looking very nice and just bright and colorful. They definitely match the sort of brightness and crispness of the uh, image on the front of the box and on the poster. So definitely pleased about that. And the colors look quite distinct from each other. So I think sorting this puzzle should be pretty fun and easy. So yeah, looking forward to that. Um, so let's just grab a, I guess a random piece here and have a look, a closer look at it. Um, so it has a lovely gray board uh, backing, so no backing paper, just nice and simple. Um, and then as for the thickness, it's a nice medium thickness. Uh, yeah, feels very sturdy. Uh, yeah, feels, I mean, I'm sure I can bend it if I tried, but it doesn't feel flimsy or anything like that. It feels nice to handle, feels quite strong. Uh, yeah, so I think this, is, this should be pretty nice to puzzle with and pretty durable. And then as for the top, it's a nice uh, smooth finish. Uh, it does have a little bit of sheen to it, so it's not glossy, but it's not completely matte either. Um, so I think depending on your lighting, uh, you know, you might get a bit of shine, I guess, here and there. So yeah, it's just gonna be different depending on yeah everyone's individual lighting setup. Um, so um, let me move this over slightly. I have dug out a few pieces before just to save myself some time because I'm always rummaging. So this is a grid cut puzzle and we have a lot of the standard piece shapes. So we've got one here that has like inverted or I guess is zero tabs. Let me actually show you that up close. We have one like this and then we have a piece that just has, you know, sing a single tab, um, which is kind of, that one's a kind of fun shape. We have pieces that have two tabs like this. So that's a pretty standard shape. We also have this variation on a two tab. So that's cool, but yeah, also kind of interesting how it's kind of a quirky shape. So they definitely have a bit of a interesting characteristic to their shape. And I also found one with three tabs. Um, I haven't found one with four tabs yet, so I'm not sure if there is one or not. There may not be, um, but you know, I think even still we've got quite a variety of piece shapes. And, um, you know, even if I dig out, oh, here's, for instance, these two pieces that are both three tabs, they're quite different. Uh, you know, they're very like, yeah, have 
quite different shapes. So yeah, it's nice to see that even amongst those uh, P shapes, there's a lot of variety. So that means we should have, uh, you know, a lot less false fits to worry about. Maybe, maybe even none if we're lucky. So I think that'll be helpful, especially on a puzzle like this that does have uh, some sort of mostly like, you know, sections of solid color. Uh, it would definitely be helpful. Um, but yeah, I don't think there's too much else to say. They're very nice pieces. They just, yeah, feel and look good. Um, there wasn't too much dust in the bag. I can see maybe a little bit at the bottom of the box, but nothing super excessive. Um, what else? The pieces look in pretty nice condition. I mean, you know, it is pretty normal to come across pieces that, are little, that can be a little bit damaged, even in brand new puzzles. Um, I'll let you know if I find any damaged pieces, but it's no biggie if there is like a few, but um, so far so good. I, everything looks very perfect and in great condition. I haven't seen like any damage at all, I don't think. So yeah, these are looking lovely. Um, oh, I just have to say this is such a pretty color. <laughs> This like very uh, pale kind of pastel-y purple lavender. It's definitely one of my favorite colors. Really like that. And also this these sort of teals. So I think this is going to be a very pretty puzzle to put together. Um, speaking of which, I've got my handy reference picture here. So let's pull this open. And um, yeah, so again, I don't know if there's a particular way up with this. I don't think it really matters. So I think, you know, this is just going to should be a reasonably quick and I guess simple puzzle to put together just because there are so many like distinct, bright, colorful sections. Um, so sorting should be pretty easy. I mean, I guess coming down to these sections here, like a lot of these colors might look quite similar when we're looking at the pieces and the same with like these light greens. And obviously this darker sort of purple eggplant color here, there's a lot more of that and the same with like this sort of yellow. So there might be some sections that are gonna be a bit more tricky than others, but for the most part, I'm guessing that it should be pretty easy. Um, I, I could be wrong, we'll, we'll find out. But yeah, I guess I, I think the way I'm just gonna approach this is, uh, yeah, just pull out, you know, pick a few distinct colored sections, like maybe this teal, maybe this orange, maybe some of the green or even this lovely lavender that I was drawn to and just, yeah, make piles of colors and then work on those sections. I think I probably will do the border first as well. There's definitely like a lot of detail and things going on. So I think the border should be pretty easy to do. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get into some puzzling. So I'm back and I've been having a lot of fun piecing this puzzle together. In fact, it's been very addictive and it was very hard to stop myself at this point. But I was like, no, Juby, you need to stop to say some words about the puzzle before you can keep going. So that was yeah, very hard to tear myself away from this. So I'm definitely itching to get back into it. Um, yeah, I really love how it's turning out. It's super satisfying seeing these like pretty colors come together and 
it's been very relaxing and fun and yeah very easy to do this is for a change i've managed to pick a puzzle that's more on the easy side normally i seem to pick the really challenging like time consuming puzzles so i'm kind of shocked um but yeah it's been really yeah quick and easy to get to this point including sorting actually has taken about two hours so yeah pretty pretty quick um and i'm guessing like the rest of it which is sort of about half is probably going to take a similar amount of time maybe even less like we do have a big sort of solid purple chunk here um but i'm not too worried about that because we already sort of did this well i already did this like goldeny yellow solid chunk and that wasn't too challenging at all um and then of course i guess some of these like lighter pinky beigey colors and lighter greens might be a bit more challenging um than doing some of these more like distinct solid colors but i don't think they're going to be too difficult i think they they look very doable and yeah and even a lot of the colors that are left are sort of browny greeny beigey colors when i look in the box here the pieces are still quite distinct from one another i can definitely tell them apart quite easily so i don't think it's going to be a big issue at all and should still be pretty quick and fun to do so yeah definitely looking forward to getting back into this very soon and then as for quality yeah i've been really enjoying it i mean i'm pretty sure the pieces are exactly the same or very very similar to the tanya wicks uh, previous collection of puzzles which i absolutely love the quality of those pieces and yeah this is the same uh yeah the pieces fit together really nicely i haven't had any false fits at all um they yeah they have a very comfortable fit like i'm pretty sure we might even be able to do a puzzle pickup later if we're you know uh which i think would be fun so we might be able to do that um but yeah the pieces just fit really nicely not too loose not too tight um yeah i surprised i thought maybe there might be a false fit amongst some of these solid colored bits but there hasn't been at all um and actually something kind of related to pieces is when i was looking when we we're looking at like the pieces up close i couldn't find one with four tabs and i still i don't think i've seen any with four tabs so i think we've only got like inverted like zero tabs one tab two tab variations and three i haven't spotted that i can see there's none here that have four so that's sort of interesting don't know why that is but it doesn't seem to have impacted um you know the amount or uh, of false fits like there hasn't been an increase that i can tell so yeah it's been a really good puzzling experience um and then the quality has been fantastic i haven't seen any damaged pieces at all so yeah really really high level of quality um there's a teeny weeny amount of dust like i can see a few specks on the board but really it's not much there's probably more in the bottom of the box yeah there's a bit in the bottom of the box but it's like not very much really like it's it's pretty fine dust and there's not that much of it just a little bit um but yeah so that's pretty good and what else oh um so the pieces aren't completely matte they have they're not glossy but they're smooth with a teeny bit of sheen um, but i didn't find that to be an issue when i was puzzling um, the lights i was using didn't seem to really cause me too much problem i mean i'm seeing a bit of sheen a patch of sheen here now from different lighting for filming this section of the video but i can still see the colors pretty well like it's not really too much of a problem so it's just something to note personally for me i haven't had a problem with it but it's going to be different for everyone because of everyone's lighting being different so yeah so just something to be aware of that they're not completely matte but they're definitely not glossy um, but apart from that yeah i don't think there's much else to say yeah just having a great experience all around and yeah i'm really itching to get back into this so i guess i'll see you in a bit after i finish this puzzle
I have finished this puzzle and I think it looks really gorgeous. I really love how it's turned out. It's super eye-catching and it was a lot of fun to put together and also very quick and easy. So that last session of puzzling was a lot quicker than I thought. Uh, it was only one hour and 35 minutes, so super quick. So what all up, including sorting, the whole puzzle only took, what, three hours and 35 minutes. So very, very quick. Um, yeah, but a lot of fun and, you know, just very satisfying seeing all the sections come together. And I just felt like it was a very relaxing, mindful, meditative puzzle. I felt like you could really kind of just switch off and kind of lose yourself in it and not worry about fussy little details or anything and just, yeah, just let your hands and puzzle pieces lead the way. So yeah, I really enjoyed it. Um, definitely recommend it. I think it'd be great for lots of different age groups and also different puzzle skill levels just because of how like fairly straightforward and fun it is to put together. And then as for quality, I really don't have anything else to add. I agree with everything I said earlier. Love the fit, no false fits, uh, even at the very end, not, not a single one. Uh, I didn't see any damaged pieces, so very impressed with the quality. Uh, there was a tiny weeny bit of dust, but really not much at all. And there's a tiny bit of sheen because the pieces aren't completely matte, but they're not glossy either. Um, but it didn't cause me any issues and I, it's just more something to note. Uh, everyone's lighting is different, so everyone's going to have a different experience with that. But I don't think anyone's going to have a terrible experience. I think the sheen is kind of subtle, so shouldn't cause any real problems for anyone, I don't think. Um, but yeah, so overall very happy with the quality. I think it's a really high level of quality, um, just like the previous collection. So yeah, very impressed. Um, so overall, uh, I mean, I really enjoyed this puzzle and I'm definitely very excited to get stuck into the, her other puzzles, um, especially Spring Serenity, which I'm gonna be doing very soon over on Instagram. So don't forget to check that out. It's, it looks super pretty, so I'm very excited. Um, and yeah, I think overall it's a really gorgeous collection. I love how colorful it is. Um, but something else that I really like about it is there seems to be a really good balance of like puzzles for different skill levels or I guess different moods maybe. So we've got like this one here, which is obviously very quick and easy. Uh, looking at candlesticks, it looks like it'll probably be maybe closer to this one, like not too challenging, fairly straightforward. I could be wrong. Seed pods, maybe that's somewhere in the middle. I'm not too sure. Um, and whereas, yeah, Spring Serenity and Autumn Delight, that, you know, with all the flowers, I think they're going to be a little bit more on the challenging side. So yeah, I really like that there's this sort of mix, it means you can kind of pick and choose what you, you know, depending on what you're feeling like on the day, you can pick something a bit more challenging if you want, or just something, yeah, really simple and relaxing. And also, yeah, just really great for different levels of puzzling. So yeah, I think it's a really nice mix and a well-balanced collection. And of course, a super beautiful collection. In the comments below, let me know what you thought of this puzzle. Do you prefer puzzles that are quick and straightforward to put together? Or do you prefer something that's a bit more challenging that's gonna take you a bit longer? And let me know which of Tanya Wick's puzzle designs is your favorite. If you enjoyed this video, then make sure you show that like button some love. And for more videos like this and for even more puzzle content, then don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. By subscribing, not only will you be the first to know when the new video is released, but you're also helping this channel grow. And you can find me over on Instagram at jigsaw underscore jubi where you'll find even more puzzle content. Thanks so much and see you next time. Bye. Ta-da.